Well, this is the first part of the Facebook Marketplace sale. There's more than what's on this table. I originally messaged these people, uh, it was an older gentleman, about these tools that he had listed for $300. And I couldn't exactly tell what was in the lot from the pictures. I could just tell that there were some Craftsman wrenches and uh, some various sockets of who knows what brand. So I messaged him, asked if uh, he could give me an indication of what uh, kind of sockets there were, what brands. And he kind of just blew me off and said, eh, no, I'm not going to take pictures and it is what it is. So I kind of was like, all right, for what they're asking, I can't, you know, I don't even want to waste my time really. So about a couple days go by and I'm at a flea market actually after I hit the estate sale and I see that they lowered the price down significantly and I had already made an offer and it wasn't far from what I had offered. They had loaded it from, lowered it from 300 to 100 and I told my wife it, was, it had been a super long day and we were about to go home and I said, listen, it's 25 minutes from home. Can we just go check this out? And I am super glad that I did because when I got in and started looking at some of this stuff, the guy was, he had reduced it to 100 and I just paid the man. I paid the man and I loaded up. Now it's not what just it's not just what's on this table. There's more that I'll show later, but this is kind of the prime stuff. So we'll start on the uh, this side over here. We got Black and Decker bit set here. The box is pretty ruined. I have about a million bits. I don't need any more. I'll never need any more, but I'll throw that into the bulk. We have a pair of tin snips here. I can't seem to find a brand. Vice grip, uh, like the table grips for welding. Dunlap wrench. We have a Duro Chrome, and that is. Let's see what size is that. Three eighths. We have a Fuller wrench. We have a pair of Stanley snips. And from what I can tell, no name uh, needle nose and a pair of welding pliers. We have here, what brand is this again? Proto. Proto pipe wrench. And I don't know what brand this is. I cannot seem to, to uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. I can't see what brand it is. So um, maybe when I clean up a little bit more. We have an Industro 2785 Super, made in the USA Speed Wrench. We have double box offset here, 5 8 made in the USA. No branding that I can tell. Have an inch and a 5 16 horse in the USA. Again, no branding that I can see. We have a Billings. Uh, seven eighths and three quarter, and that's uh, number seven seven three one A. We have a True Fit three quarter and twenty five thirty seconds double box on wrench. Okay, we have an underline C half inch extension there. An underline C, one and one sixteenth, twelve point half inch socket. We have this tap it style, cross underline C, Craftsman, and that's half inch. We have a five eighths, eleven sixteenths, a three quarter. This one is double V, single line, V and V. Uh, Double-ended wrenches here. These are, let's see. Let's see, we have, um, oh shoot, I'm always bad with the, the markings of that double line V. Anyway, so yeah, most of these are double line V. 
So we have 19 30 seconds and 11 16 another 19 30 seconds and 11 16 13 16 and 25 30 seconds, 7 eighths and 3 quarter, and an inch and a 16th, and an inch and an eighth. We have a half inch double box end wrench and a 9 16 a 5 eighths and a 9 16 This one's just a little bit longer. Oh wait, that one, that one's half inch, that one's five eighths. <laughs> we have these underline C and somewhere, double box and offset wrench, 25, 30 second. That one's definitely seen somewhere. And the same wrench here, just in better condition, at least as far as the shape of it. So underline C. Seven eighths, thirteen sixteenths, and we have underline C one one inch and fifteen sixteenths, and the kids have come inside, so it might get loud. Uh, we have so oh, let's go to the uh, Craftsman sockets here. A various amount of Craftsman sockets, nothing too crazy, um, but yeah, they're there. We have some SK. Some Allen heads here, a 10 mil, and some various other SK. We have a one and a quarter inch, that's half inch. And we have, what size is that? 13 sixteenths and half inch. We got some various SK double-ended wrenches here and some regular wrenches. Double box end, a little bit of an offset. All right. We have some Bonnie. And these are half inch. 31, 30 seconds. It's a nice little set there. They definitely need to be clean. Goes down to 7 sixteenths. And these, like I said, are half inch, but they're 12 point. We have... Um, these, oh, let me, these are the D31, and they go down to D14, as far as the, I guess you'd say, model number. And then it goes down to T. Uh, now, these are 12.38. Uh, That's an incomplete set on both. We have a swivel extension here from Bonnie. And we have a three-quarter deep 12-point half-inch for Bonnie. All right, we have a brake spoon for uh, drum brakes. I'm actually going to bring that to work. This, I don't know. Is this for brakes? I don't think it is. At least I've never seen it. Maybe it is. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think this is, because I have no idea. It does have a marking on it, but I cannot read it for the life of me. We have a Durex Industrial half inch and a Cal 1548 half inch. They're, they're both all right. They don't sound very great. They certainly need a servicing. We have some assortment of files here. We have this rigid screw extractor set and the case is metal and I've never seen an extractor set like this. That's pretty sweet got this Exolite hex socket driver set which is just has the handle and you can um, interchange it speaking of hex we have a full set of hex right here or probably many sets I didn't even bother going through it I have so many hex keys it's not even funny and a nice little red box here we also have this beautiful set here of metric Armstrong. Let's see if I can't get that to focus. Armstrong, deep sockets, half inch. It goes, there may be one or two missing, I'm not sure. I don't know that this case is original, but 32, half inch, and goes down to 10. Just a beautiful set there. 12 point, but. And the, oh, there goes my well pump. And then. We have some more Armstrong here. 
There's definitely some missing from this set, but that's one inch. And it goes down to, as far as what I have, half inch. So very cool. Probably gonna keep that metric set. And if it's missing anything, I'll fill it in. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know about the SA. Uh, we got this Armstrong. Let me see if I can read the number. Oh, uh, made in the USA, of course. 6410. Torque wrench. And it goes up to 100 foot pounds. Um, interesting head design there. I have no idea how old this is, but. And it's definitely not in calibration, but very cool to have that. Let's get to the good stuff. Snap-on. We have quite a few snap-on sockets here. It's not a full set, but a decent set nonetheless. Half inch, 12 points. We have, it goes from, let's see what I have here. Snap-on. This goes from oh, one and one sixteenth, and it's missing the three quarter. I have two of the, what is it, nine sixteenths, oh, 13 sixteenths. I have two of those, and then it ends, at least as far as the deep, ends down here on the. Oh, they're kind of rough to read. Give me a second here. Half inch. Oh, is that half inch? Yes, half inch. So, and then we have a three quarter here. It's like semi deep. Uh, that's in three eighths. Half inch, three eighths. Kind of like a semi deep again. We have a little three eighths. Snap on half inch here. Got some green paint on it. We got this snap on. I can't, I can barely read it, but it says snap on tool corp. And this is the torque meter TQ 150. The uh, plastic. Uh, cover here is a little bit rough but never seen something like that snap on I'll have to look into it I have no idea all right we got some blue point uh, this is that rounded blue point I see uh, as I believe you want to watch gets these every once in a while so that's 3 8 and 7 16 this one's huge. Double box and wrench here. This is a set say one, one and a quarter by one and three eighths. Massive. And then we have another blue point here. It's a uh, one and hard to read on some of these one and something by one and eight so probably one of, that's one and sixteenth and this one is one and a quarter and one and a sixteenth very very heavy um don't know the year i have to do some research on them but just amazing Sorry about the uh, walking upstairs. My family decided to come in all at once. We got this uh, Proto ball peen hammer, very heavy hammer. I don't know the ounce, the ounces on that. Uh, another ball peen hammer. It doesn't seem to have a marking. It might've just been worn off. I will have to check on the wire wheel at some point. This Warwood hammer, very heavy. I actually was just saying to myself, I needed some decent hammers uh, with, some, with some weight at home and I have some nice ones at work but uh, nothing really at home. This punch here, this long punch, 
That is a Williams. Making sure I didn't forget anything for this first section here. But, I mean, already worth $100. Already. But there's more. All right, guys, this is the second part of the Facebook Marketplace pickup. As you can see, there's a lot on the table. And there's still a little bit more to show after this. Let's get right into it. We have a pair of snips. We have this Williams uh, long feeler gauges. A pair of Wiss inlaid USA 1225 scissors. Really good condition. Um, they feel really nice in the hand. I'm sure they were quality scissors. We have some soapstone holders, two utility knives. There's two utility knives here. One is a Stanley 99E, and I don't know the model of this one. We have a set of uh, Craftsman uh, vice grips here. They need a little bit of a cleanup, but they all do function. I know I've seen this marking before, but my brain will not come up with the answer. So if you know the answer for this marking, um, please put it in the comments. I love learning and uh, I have no shame in forgetting information and uh, not and just plain not knowing. So I'd love to uh, learn what is this, what is the brand of this logo here? We have a punch with different sizes. We have a Globemaster Japan slip joint plier, an Exolite wire snip, a Proto click stop, pair of adjustable, adjustable wrench here. It's got a clicking action and bringing the jaws in. Companion 5 eighths and 11 sixteenths double offset wrench, box end offset wrench. Uh, I don't know if you'd call this a stubby, but it's not very large. A couple ignition wrenches, one from Westcraft and one P&G. We have some masonry bits in their packaging. Here we have some spring compressors or uh, no, strut compressor. I know these can be kind of dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. I will be using those uh, after I take a look at them, make sure they're safe. We have a channel lock. Champion department. Pair of slip joint pliers here. There's a little large grip adjustable wrench. Another adjustable wrench. This one is from Taperia. Is that how you say that? Taperia? 11.11.7. Sorry, 11.74. Pair of Chinesium pliers. Here's something neat. Some blue point file threads. Pretty sweet. Those will be coming to work with me. Blue point tubing bender. I assume this is for uh, brake lines or other metal lines on a vehicle. Got some tip cleaners. We have a multifunction knife that's kind of stuck open. We have some punches of various sizes. Uh, we have some Amco. And let's see, what else is in here? Sometimes it's so hard for me to read these, this small writing. Oh, sorry, AMCO, ADCO. I know there was a Crowder in here as well. I'm trying to find that one. And of course I can't find it. Here's some Osborne. 
suppose you'd use it for leather or making gaskets. Here's the crowder, three quarter. Pair of snips, side cutters, H Boker & Co. Those feel really nice in the hand. Tool for removing burrs. The gentleman I bought this from explained to me what this is, uh, and I forgot. It's uh, model RR-50, made in the USA. I remember it had something to do with honing. So if you know what this is, by all means, let me know in the comments. Some hardware, but I think it went to a small puller of some sort. Another multifunction knife, a pocket knife, and the steel is pretty taken down. I don't know, it looks like it's been sharpened many, many times. Have a tape measure here. Some putty knives and this is something I use at work all the time but now I'll have one for home it's a battery load tester and you hook that up to a battery and this one isn't digital but it will tell you um, I mean there's there's some steps to it but it'll tell you kind of what the condition your battery's in so uh, definitely excited to have one of those at home I have some batteries I'm actually gonna check now so all right, getting into the calibration tools. We have some Starrett. Now, I don't know a whole lot about these types of tools. Anything I use at work is digital. Um, I'd love to, I would love to learn about these tools and I will. I'm going to uh, do some research. So please be kind. I don't really know a whole lot about these. I mean, it's like a micrometer. I don't know what this is. I mean, this is a, a Stanley rule of some sort it's beautiful uh wooden and, and and brass i can definitely clean it up a little bit this slides out there's a little bit of splintering on the wood there but this is stare it this is stare it this is also stare it so is this this is J-T-S-S-O-L-S-L-O-C-O-M-B Co. Uh, J-T Sloamb Co. I don't know if I'm reading that right. Um, my eyes aren't that great. Uh, we have a central tool made in the USA micrometer. So yeah, those are really neat. I know Starrett is a nice brand. I know people um, used to spend a lot of money on these, so I will take that into consideration when um, learning about these types of tools and uh, on what I'm gonna do with them next, if I'm just gonna keep them, uh, pass them along someday, or if somebody wants to trade, uh, might find uh, better use for them. Also, there's the stare at number 657, and I'm sure it goes to one of these, and I'm just not smart enough to know uh, which one. It's got this on and off push button here. So yeah, if you guys know anything about these, please. Uh, I could look it up on Google, but I'd love to hear from you guys what, uh, what you think about them, what kind of tools they are, what they were used for. I mean, I have a general idea of what they're used for, but, you know. All right, we have a Proto Flathead Screwdriver. And this one I'm having a hard time reading. I'm having a hard time reading the brand. It's not Proto, as far as I can tell. We have a mirror. We have a <laughs> hacked up uh, offset double box and wrench here custom for some job we have some uh advertisement screwdrivers bailey controls we have a mac representative we have 
Oh, this one's worn out. I don't know what this one was. So that's cool. And we have some snap-on flathead screwdrivers. Well, um, one of them is a Phillips, but these are some older snap-on. Now, they're not perfect. Um, some of them have quite a bend, as you can tell, and some gunk on them. But I think I could clean them up. This one definitely has a bend. This is the, the Phillips in here. Let's see if I can get the model. There we go. Snap on SSDP 31, I want to say, USA. Hard to, hard to read those. So yeah, I'm going to clean those up. This one has been modified. That's, you know, I don't think, you know, who's going to, who's going to warranty a modified tool? Um, these will probably go to someone who enjoys snap on more than me. Um, but yeah, that's certainly cool to see that. And in the rear here, we have one last thing. We have this Craftsman Torque Wrench and three eighths. Well, I will load up the table and show you the last part. All right, guys, here's the third and final part of the Facebook pickup. I'm gonna just go over the screwdrivers real quickly. Some various screwdrivers, a lot of them have wear, but some nice craftsmen in there that could be cleaned up. Here's one of those uh, screw starters. There's a Phillips number three. A couple stragglers up there. Got a KMC. Stanley, flat tip. A lot of these uh, craftsmen are Western Forge. And here is some punches, various sizes. I put them in um, brand. These are all craftsmen. These rather large ones that go to uh, go to a smaller set here are all Williams. It's very nice. Always great to have punches around the shop. Here's some Proto. Definitely going to give these some cleanup on the wire wheel and some oil. We have a PNC. There's an SK. There's a Mac. A Snap On. And a Mayhew. There's some um, random ones. One has a uh, brand Defiance made in the USA. And the others didn't really seem to have a brand. Our one, this one right here. WH. Manufacturing Co. I don't know if that must be Williams. Easy roll doesn't roll. Easy hold won't roll. So yeah, I think I scored huge, guys. Um, for hundred dollars, I'd pay that all day. A lot of this stuff will get cleaned up. It'll either get resold or get put in my collection. Um, and when I say collection, I say that these will be working tools. So. Very, very cool. Thanks for watching.